Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome on back to another episode of the FC25 Manchester United career mode. There have been a lot of ups and a lot of downs in this series, and yet at the end of it all, we are closing in really on a Champions League place, and with quite a bit of a gap between us and fifth place Spurs. Unfortunately, we have an even bigger gap to the actual Premier League title, which currently is looking like it might be won by Aston Villa. Liverpool are in the mix. Man City, maybe. Right at the end of the season, we might be there for a Premier League title. Imagine if it does happen. We are playing Aston Villa in the final game of the Premier League season. So if we are within three points of them, it is possible, as long as the goal difference isn't absolutely ridiculous. We cannot give up the possibility that we may be able to win the Premier League this season after being 19th after almost 10 games. I, it literally would be the biggest comeback ever. Look at that, 17 goals. Joshua Zerkshi has played 10 less games and Victor Yorkerez has only been here for a handful of games, but six Premier League goals out of 10 games. Got plenty in the, Euro uh, in the Europa League, in the FA Cup. He's settled in very nice. But by far the craziest thing that I've seen has been the unbelievable resurgence of Marcus Rashford. Do you remember when bloody Garnacho was like, I don't know, on like 10 or 11 goal contributions, Marcus Rashford was on like two. Now look at him. With two less games played, he has got 10 goals, five assists. Suddenly now, looks a lot more impressive compared to the Garnacho seven and nine. But anyway, Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. First Premier League game. The Sims have been killing us, especially away. But Nottingham Forest, the 16th. We're going to need all the points we can get in order to push for this unlikely, but maybe still possible Premier League title. And we get the three points with three goals. Have a look at the top goal scorers. Isak on 17. Son Watt. Watkins Diaz, where's our highest goal scorer? It's Bruno Fernandes with 10 from only 23 appearances and Joshua Zerksy in 19th position overall with 9 from only 16 appearances. Alright, that's really bloody good. Shout out to Erling Haaland, only 13 goals in 28 games. Mate, bro fell off, what happened? Andre Onana's currently tied for the equal most uh, clean sheets as well, so there you go. Imagine Andre Onana walking away with the golden glove. That would certainly be something for sure. I mean, Either way, I am I'm, I'm relatively undecided whether or not I want to go for a new high-rated goalkeeper next season, or do we hang on to Onana? Has he really been that terrible? I don't think so. But anyway, we have got a massive game coming up in the next few days. We have got the second Manchester derby of the Premier League season. This time, it's at home at Old Trafford. We win this game. We jump up to third position. We overtake our rivals. It has been a long, bloody time since Manchester United finished ahead of Man City in the Premier League. We can do that here. I believe in this team, this team that we have adjusted, made some slight changes to, been playing around with player roles, been playing around with instructions, brought in some new faces, and god damn, I've got this team ticking, I feel like. We were able to take down Manchester City in the last derby match that we played earlier on in the season. What can we do this time? Harlan, who's having a stinker of a season, oh, only a goal every two games, that's garbage. He gets it underway, let's get this game underway again. We are legit fighting to keep our unlikely Premier League title hopes alive. Garnacho and Dallo linking up now. Yorkerez is in the middle. And one more time, up over the top. Get in there. Oh my god! Fernandez tried a bit of a scissor kick, mini scissor kick attempt. Did not matter. Maybe a bit too cheeky on that one. De Jong ball in. Yet to get a goal from a corner. Rashford won the header, no good. Cut back ball. Onana. Oh my god, it's shenanigans. Wow, I actually didn't mind how Delit held onto the post there as he fell. Come on, EA, that's all right. Up over the top, it's a bit of a foot race here. Rashford versus Ake. Rashford's able to keep it in somehow. Still going here. Oh, that's a hell of a run here. Rashford is so on here. Tight angle. Cut back. Got Garnacho. Oh, and after all that, Edison still makes the save. I was an offside anyway. Oh, I did not see that coming. They will get the only chance. Oh, Harlan just immediately spins, strikes, and puts it wide. We've been keeping him quiet for the last three halves that we've played against Man City. We've got one left against them this season. It is still nil-nil. Oh, I went sliding in there. Oh, with Fernandez to try to win the ball back in a good spot. We've clipped him. He's gone down. I already know what's coming. It's going to be a second yellow card. Yep, yeah, unbelievable. We've lost our you know, best player this season. 
Can't believe it. I think that was a legitimate enough attempt, although the stud showing doesn't help. Oofed. That is really going to hurt our chances today, won't it? Oh, I can... Yeah, that, he's totally onside there. Hello. Hello. Oh, I think we've done it. We have got the late goal. I tell you what, the save attempt from Edison was uh, questionable to say the least. It was there to be stopped, even if it was coming at him quick. I don't care though, neither will Victor Yorkerez. He gets a big goal, his first against Man City. That is a popular goal to get for a new signing and a huge goal in the Premier League. Oh, that's a bad ball in. Rodrigue's gone for it. Oh, it's gone right back to Haaland. It's blocked by DeLitt. It's gonna go out for a corner. I can't believe it. Another card coming. This is ridiculous. They're going to make a little change here right at the end, but it's basically stoppage time, and this is basically their last attempt. Just don't let them get that header we were worried about. Yorkeres clears it away. That's as big as a goal. Still moving. Rodri with a go. Held by Onana, and that will do it. Victor Yorkeres with a brilliant goal that wins us this derby, and a goal line clearance at the end that is equally as big. Massive moment. We have overtaken Manchester City in the Premier League and we are still putting up a damn good fight for the unlikely but maybe still possible shot of a Premier League title. So a huge win. We're looking at the Youth Academy here. You know, it's been a while since I've popped in and, uh, you know, had a look at the kids. So uh, let's see how everyone's doing. Our highest overall players are Matthew Skies at a 60, Jordan Bennett with a 59, and decent potential. I will definitely promote them being 16 each, so we don't want to lose them walking away, doing anything like that. Anyway, uh, we've got two games I think I'm going to sim here. The away leg here against Porto, this, this game against Newcastle United, and then depending on how the first leg goes maybe we might need to jump into this second leg against Porto come on I'm gonna ask for a decent result please to set us up we get the win that is good that is promising and now against Newcastle in the Premier League what do we get another win that is great we're getting some good results away from home here in fact better than great I think I probably feel okay with you know that score line maybe simulating the quarterfinal I think we can get there and we do hang on to our aggregate lead in fact we build on it and end up seeing it out 3-1 this is a terrific run that we're on in the Europa League and of course in the Premier League I would dare well say our top four status is almost solidified and our Premier League title push it is so on lads it really is we have six games left apparently Man City could still overtake us but look we're clear of Spurs now there's surely no way we're falling out the top four we've got to be in the Champions League but I will get the next two Premier League games out of the way at home to Wolves we finally failed to win a game from a sim in this episode and the next game against Bournemouth away please we've had some decent away sims and that continues thank god our semi-final opponent in the Europa League will be Fenerbahce we've got Galatasaray and Spurs in the other semi-final so if we make it to the Europa League final which hopefully we should be able to we're either going to take on Spurs or Galatasaray how are we going to start off though against Fenerbahce in this two-legged affair with Oh my god, a horrendous loss. A 3-1 loss away from home. That is astonishingly bad. Where has that come from? The Sims have actually been quite nice. We let a really bad one go right at the end there with Ennisiri. So that one goal at the end there, that's going to really hurt us. My God. Christ, well, this is May. This is our final month of football for the season. You see our run to the end in the Premier League. We have got Brentford. We've got West Ham. Chelsea away is huge. Aston Villa could be a title decider, depending on where they are, where Liverpool is, where City is. But if we can crawl back the deficit, we, we've got a shot at another trophy if we can make it to the final, if we can take out Fenerbahce. So I will go ahead and sim this Brentford game, but the last two Premier League games we are going to play. Please do us nicely. We need it. We needed it bad. We got it. Get in. Come on. That's great stuff in the Premier League, but we're back now into the Europa League, back into this must win and not just win win by at least a few game against Fenerbahce they got San Maximin they got Fred oh my god a former Manchester United legend if you don't mind me saying so Livakovic and Nasiri they've got some talent some nice plays off the bench like Tadic, Kostic, Dzeko, Diego, Carl Soyuncu their bench looks better than their bloody starting 11. But if we fail to win this game, ladies and gentlemen, and win it by enough, our Europa League journey will end at the hands of 
this bloody Turkish side, Fenerbahce. There's a chance there could be an all Turkish bloody Europa League final. That would be lit. I'd much rather we make it though. Who is it going to be then? Are we going to overcome the deficit here at Old Trafford? We're going to bloody need to. I'll be leaning heavily on your careers, Fernandez, all of them. We are going to need to have a big, big match. And he has got it kicked off and underway. We need a big, good, positive start. Oh my god, what a tackle from DeLitt. That was nearly a really good counter-attack for him. And he just, with the eyes in the back of his head, made the challenge. That is a hell of a ball. Your careers. What a pass from Fernandez! And what a finish from your careers! We get that early start. Let's go. This is absolutely outstanding. A magnificent ball by Bruno Fernandez. And of course finished by Yorkerez. He is becoming our out-and-out -out superstar number nine like we all knew he would be. You could never waste a through ball that good, and why would he? Worcester Walder. There is. What a ball that is. San Maximin. Oh my god, Alan San Maximin has sent through a pretty routine ball, to be honest, and all the space in the world. Fernabache have leveled it up. Jose Mourinho is back and pulling off madnesses in Europe again. I can't believe this. Bloody San Maximin. That is too much space and time. And we get nothing from Onana on this occasion. Jose Mourinho back at Old Trafford. I just don't believe he has done it to us again. We're in the way. We're trying to stay in the way at least. Come on. Big tackle. Sam Maximin, get out of my way, mate. That's half time. We don't get a chance to counter. We're level in the game. We're still two goals down on aggregate. Oh, my God, man. We still are so far away. We're in 45 minutes away from throwing this final away. Oh, I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that at all. I think I was holding down the sprint button. This is really bad. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Ugarte is going to have to go. And I, oh, I just shoot myself in the foot again here. Look at that. That is... Oh, it just looks really bad too, doesn't it? It's not the worst, most ridiculously hard challenge. I'm making my case. Mourinho is loving it. Don't let him cut it back. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him do anything. Can we clear this ball, please? Get it out of here, man. Off of the post and the Siri. We just couldn't get rid of it. Martinez and Delit just fucking around on the ball, man. Can't get rid of it at all. I'm goddamn spamming the clearance button. Delit is unable to get up on, of course, of all people, in Nasiri, a man that we know has got some good hang time, as he proved in the World Cup. He's got a good standing vertical as well. Ridiculous. We are now 2-1 down. We need three goals in 30 minutes. And we're bloody down to 10 men as well. This is not looking all too promising. That's a good start. That's a very good start. It is a deflection. Off of a Gonzalo, or what, or like in Sal, or whatever his name is, it has been deflected into his own net. It's an own goal. We are now level again, but we still need two goals. And now we're pushing for it. Really quick, really early. I don't see a lot on here. Delit versus San Maximin. How are we allowing this to happen again? Cutting it back again. They're just, they've got numbers everywhere. Ball, it's out. It can't be cleared away. Where is the defense? It's all over the place. How many times can I spam the clearance button, man? Of course, Onana's save goes right back to him. Who the hell was directly in front? Was it Diogo Dallo? Why are you not getting rid of the ball? It is an utter fucking farce. Utter fucking farce of a game, man. Why is this happening? Once again, we have no defenders. I get we're on a red card, but what is this structure? What is this shape? Knock it forward. Yorkerez. Goal. Yes, but it's just not enough time, man. We're still like, yeah, we level the game. Great, but we're still two goals short. We need a miracle. And it's a miracle we're simply not going to get. We draw the game 3-3. That Manuel Ugarte red card screwed us up massively. We had no one down back. We leaked two crap goals because of it. And we simply couldn't clear our lines. No matter how bad I tried, 
unbelievably, Fenerbahce and Jose Mourinho have come to Old Trafford. They've got a ridiculous draw, and they've seen out their win in the first leg. We are out in the semi-finals. There will be no Europa League final for Manchester United. What chaos was that match? Just insanity, mate. Absolute insanity. And looking at the Premier League table, I am very concerned about something. Liverpool are top with one less game played. We are five points away from them. If they win that game in hand, they'll be in a whole eight points clear of us. We can get a max of nine. That is it. That would not be looking good for our Premier League title hopes. Oy, anyway, all right. Manchester United versus West Ham. We are at home. They are 12. The last two games are huge. Chelsea and Aston Villa. What will it be? Please be kind. Please. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's, that's not going to help. That's not going to help. Wow. Okay. So the max points we can get now is 76, I think. Yeah, honestly, it is looking like there's basically no chance Liverpool finish with less than 79. So I don't think we were winning this Premier League title at all. It is still possible for us to fall out of the top four, so be aware of that. We can definitely take on Chelsea here today just to absolutely make sure that we make it into the top four, but I doubt very much that we're winning the Premier League. In fact, mathematically, it's probably already over now. If we are able to win this game against Chelsea, it's an important game. We will be in the top four, and we want to finish strong. So Stamford Bridge, it is. Chelsea in eighth place. They're going to fight for some sort of European football themselves, but we are looking to secure your top four at all costs. Come on, lads. We have got to keep Cole Palmer quiet. Sancho is playing in this game. I didn't know if there was some sort of rule that said he couldn't, but no, he's in it. We are going to be getting him back next season. Interesting to see if we will work him into the rotation. But let's do this then, people. We need to get this win, secure Champions League, and look, I will take that. It would have been fantastic had we found a way to come from 19th to goddamn first in the Premier League, but... I will admit, that would be quite unrealistic. It would have been insane, but it would have been unrealistic. I still haven't scored a goal from a corner all season. Imagine it comes right here. Rashford, that's too close and too wide. I don't know if he'll get there. He might. Here he is. Cole Palmer. Oh, I'm making a big statement early. Just please don't get yourself sent off. We've had enough red cards today in this episode. What is it going to be? Only yellow for Delete. Oh, for De Jong. Just please. No more reds. Since you didn't get yourself sent off, I, I don't mind that, to be honest. Well, that'll do. Garnacho, thank you very much. And we're still moving here. Come on. Oh, it's opening up here, the space. Rashford out wide. Cross to the back stick. Love this play. Oh! <laughs> All for Yorkerez to hit the bloody crossbar. That is a nice move. I want, to I want to try to keep going to that as much as possible. Oh, come on. Referee, we had a great chance on. Bloody prick. Oh, that's a good one too. Straight up the middle here. Look at that. We pulled a defender away. We've got Yorkerez away. Yorkerez is so away. He's been closed down, but he won't be caught. There we go. Straight up the middle. I will take that, ladies and gentlemen. That is a very nice counter-attack. Yorkerez hitting the crossbar a moment ago. Second chance. He doesn't normally need many more. That is a fantastic little counter-attack. Reese James nearly cut us off. But in the end, we get it done. We're trying to kill off Chelsea's hopes of any European football. And we're trying to cement Champions League for ourselves today. I've got De Lit or De Jong. I keep getting his bloody name mixed up today. Don't know what's going on. But I've got him on the yellow. I'm trying to be aware of that. Sanche. Oh my god, he's actually had a hit from there. It's been stopped. It's rolling out. Look at the time. We are going to let them... They're going to get the corner. Are you kidding me with how much time there is left? Good save to be fair by Onana, even if it was a 0.0, .0 expected goal. Just please don't piss away the lead right at the end here. Ball's delivered in by Sancho. Yorkerez clears. He's a bloody great goal scorer and defender. Referee, as if you're letting this go on. That would have been outrageous had that gone in. For two minutes of extra time, I swear we were just going into the 52nd minute there. Absolutely ridiculous, but it's all right. Whatever. We start up the second half with ourselves just still only the one in front. Really nicely. Well, one ball. He's going to be offside here. Yep. Oh, I thought so. Yorkerez just a touch off. We are going to make a couple of changes. Shaw can come off. We're bringing Kobe Mino on for De Jong with him on that yellow, of course. And Masraoui comes in to replace Luke Shaw. Heavy touch. Hello. We'll take that. I, oh, I didn't mind it up the middle. Still a bit too tight for me. Up over the top is Garnacho. Ball at the back stick. Oh, don't worry about it. Nicolas. 
Jackson. Oh, come on. He hurdled me, mate. There's barely a foul in that at all. What is this going to be? We had a defender back. Yellow card for Harry Maguire. I don't know about that. Oh, come on. Up over the top. It does get to him. Look at the space that Garnacho has. Look at the space. The ball roll gets through. Garnacho! We go around him too easily. And that is a second. Breathing space at Stamford Bridge. Big needed goal. The type of goal that's not maybe worthy of the... Ch maybe not a goal of champions, but a goal of a team that's going into the Champions League. Oh, Chilwell, that is ridiculous. What a slide tackle. Look at where Sancho is now. He's trying to stay in the way. Oh, where is the defender? Come on. We are not down to 10 men like we were against Fenerbahce. That's inexcusable. This is a good little move that we got going on here. Your Perez. Put it forward for him. Tighter angle. Oh, way too tight an angle. Oh, and Unai Simon holds. Get it up over the top. Mason Mount against his old side. Imagine. Great tackle there from Masraoui. Up the middle. Oh, love that ball. Nice and early. Oh, your Carez. Wide of the mark. But we're really putting Chelsea to the sword. Unfortunately, we just can't make him pay. I'm making changes. Eating into the clock. Maguire's on a yellow. He's coming off a of Lenny Euro. Oh, what a fucking atrocious part. Nicolas Jackson. Oh, here comes Sense. No, it's Enzo Fernandez. Onana big save. And with that save, that should surely rule any chance out of a Chelsea comeback. Come on. Even if they get a goal here, look at the time. We're entering stoppage time. Onana makes the save. Got to remember, they did get like seven extra minutes out of nowhere last uh, last half. So it could happen. Cole Palmer delivers it again. That one's atrocious. Mino gets rid. This one is over. Diogo Dallo gets it. Can we wrap it up with one last goal? Straight up the middle. Here comes Garnacho. Knock it away. He's not going to get it. But referee, blow your whistle. It is over. We get the big three points that we need. We're heading into the Champions League. There will be no Premier League title for us. But considering where we were about a week or not even a month or so into the season, we are taking that 100%. Big, big game and a big, big result. There's only one final game left. It's a week away. It's against Aston Villa, the last game of the season. I thought maybe there was a chance this could have been first versus second in the league. Didn't quite pan out that way. And this is effectively a dead rubber game for us. Look at that. We can't overtake Aston Villa. We can't bloody drop out the top four. We are in fourth. That is it. And there was no chance we were catching Liverpool. Look at that. They actually kind of ended up running away with it toward the end, man. You know, I'm actually going to do something nice. I'm going to throw out the second team, the players that didn't really get as much game time this season since, you know, bloody hell, we got really no point in playing this game. So we are intentionally weakening ourselves, and yet we still got the win anyway. Can you believe it? All right, not too bad. I mean, it wasn't the worst team in the world. Rashford scored. Mason Mount had himself a ridiculously good game. And then a few others like Anthony, Xerxes, who really hadn't played much at all ever since Yorkeres came in. And that's a bit harsh on him, considering he wasn't... No, it was no slouch. But fourth is where we reside. Sadly, we do not push for that title in the what would have been the craziest comeback ever. We are going to take the Champions League, though. In the end, Liverpool finish a whole 11 points clear of us. I mean... We were barely even close looking back. Out of curiosity, who got relegated? It was Nottingham Forest, Leicester, and Ipswich. Crystal Palace. Thankfully for them, just surviving. So too Fulham and Bournemouth. What teams are going to be coming up? It's definitely Sheffield United and Leeds with either Burnley, Middlesbrough, Luton Town, or Norwich coming up. We will find out who next season. But at the end of our season, let's have one final breakdown of the statistics of our players. Our leading goal scorer, he only played half the season, but he is finishing on top with 20 goals and two assists absolutely magnificent performance. By the way, just quietly, Erling Haaland out of nowhere shot up to the top of the goal scoring stat. Where did that explosion of goals come from, for Christ's sake? Oh, ridiculous. Isak gets robbed right at the end. Well, of course Haaland had to finish on top somehow. Our top goal scorer only being, you know, Yorkeres with 12, but again, from 18 appearances, I am hopeful that he might be able to push for a golden boot next season. And Andre Onana is going to finish with the with the Golden Glove Award. He gets the most clean sheets in the Premier League. That is unreal. Congratulations, Andre Onana. I don't... I don't really think an 84-rated 29-year-old goalkeeper, we're immediately in need of replacing. 
I, I feel like there are definitely other areas we can improve on first. And I I'm not totally against keeping Andre Onana. I'd be keen to hear what you guys think. Because ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We have reached the end of our first season of the Manchester United career mode. It's really good to be back just doing the normal career mode series that we used to do for so many years. It's been a while since we just did a normal ass career mode, man. And I've had such a great time. You guys have been supporting the hell out of it and backing the hell out of it. And that I really cannot thank you for enough. You guys are absolute legends. And yes, we are going to get a second season in. You bet we are. The only trophy we won this season, if you even really want to count it, was the Community Shield. No FA Cup, no Carabao Cup. We just fell short to Mourinho in the semi-finals. But either way, we're in the Champions League next season. We've got stacks of talent, brought in some really good players. And I would say we've got a really good shot of going for that Premier League title next season. The first in over 10 years. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like if you've been watching this series and you've made it this far and you still haven't yet. Be sure to subscribe as well. See you all in season two. Hopefully it won't be too long. But until then, my name is The Master Bucks. Catch you next time and bye-bye.